it's a quirky. We were here was a long time ago, repeat offender. When is the last time we were on this show? It's Quentin Parker. No. I think it was last year. That's yeah. all I can say. <laughs> All right, well, you know, start. you guys yeah, actually I'll go way oh back as God. well. Yes. Like, this is your life right now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is your life, Caroline Stewart. Yeah, yeah so, me and Carol was in a band um, together. Yes, we were. first band I was in, actually. Yeah. Subject of the question. Yes, yeah, we had. Yeah. Was that your first band, too? Ironically, yeah. All right, <laughs> yeah. So, so you guys have matriculated. Yeah. Yes, yes. yes. Have, you've been in a lot of bands since then, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I think all together. Not a lot, maybe like five. Six. That's, That's a, a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah, it, it's, it was uh, pretty stressful at one time. I think at one time I was in three bands at one time, so I didn't have any time for anything else. So. Yeah. And, yeah, and what did you play in these bands, and what are you playing today? Um, well, in Subject, I started out on bass, and then we lost our drummer. Mm -hmm. He kind of did a losing, but it, 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 was, it was it was stuff. And um, I learned how to play drums. Uh, from whenever he would go to the bathroom, I would, uh, I'd, I'd, I'd <laughs> and I would, um, I would get behind a drum kit and just try to play <laughs> it, and then I would go to uh, Guitar Center and practice drums there. Is so, that where you learn drums? Yeah. That at thing, Guitar at, Center? Guitar Center yep. and YouTube. Really? Yeah. I swear. So you were just a bit, you were a bass player though. Yeah, originally I was just a bass player. And then they said they needed a drummer, and, and you just well, said, the drummer, okay. Well, the drummer fell. Like, it was irreconcilable difference. I don't know what happened. It was so long ago. And when he would go to the bathroom, he would just shoot the shit and just jump on drums. Oh. Uh, yeah, so that's how it So you were just natural. I guess so, yes. Yeah. I, I, I did air drums for maybe three months. Before okay. I actually got behind so it. do you like drums? I do. I, I love them because... Um, they're pretty natural for me to do. I don't know why, but it just gives me. Um, I really don't have to practice much other than, I really just practice so I don't drop my sticks. That's yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, you lose the sensitivity from not playing after a while. But, um, yeah, I love it. I just like, I also like an instrument that I can walk around and be free. Yeah, so it's like, really like, hard being a drummer. Everything is so heavy. And like, yeah, it's so a lot much of gear. And, stuff yeah, to carry. It's so hard. To, drummers are always complaining. Leaning about carrying all their stuff. I try it's not like, to. I usually, but you probably don't. But most of the drummers I know, they're like, "Can you help me? I'm the drummer." It's like you chose to be the drummer. I right, know. right. But I played in um. But you didn't. It kind of like chose you. Yes, yes. Um, and then um, when I was playing with Jurgen, which is later on. Slut Junkie. Yep. So, uh, the Slut Junkies. He, he heard his name. Oh, it's like, almost like the debate. You can come sit here, Jurgen. No, and then I yeah, got you can sit here. Do his thing. Come on, it's the debate. You hear oh, your name, you get to say What's something. <laughs> so I got to, uh, I got to play bass for uh, for Slut Junkies. Yeah. Um, maybe for like two years. Didn't almost. you drum for them too? Later on, yes. When um, Ivy had a had yeah, to when Ivy had to take yeah. sabbatical. Yes. Right. And um, I I. You know, went back on drums from there. But yeah, it wasn't well, it wasn't too bad of a transition other than Well maybe. the last Slut Junkies show that I saw you playing bass, you were phenomenal. Oh, thank you. Amazing. We didn't have a lot of practice either, so yeah, but you have that down. You know those songs. Yeah, the songs we basically know. Yeah, don't drink that Kool-Aid. No, yeah. don't drink the Kool-Aid. Kool Kool yeah. Such a good song. That's so and good. Uh, now I'm currently in a band called The Next Life. The, next life. In, the, in, next, in life. the next Life. In the Next Life. In the Next Life. So yes. what does it mean? Are you in the next life, or are you still in this? Life? I'm in multiple lives. Are you? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. what what transpires a different life? Like, how do you know which life you're in at the moment? It's sort of like a move in the motion, oh, okay. and also spirituality as well. Okay. So, uh, what is your spirit animal? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what my spirit animal is. I guess it's cute. Cute is cute. Could be an animal, right? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a mineral. Oh, uh, <laughs> but I think it has to be more of like a hairy or. Uh, and swimmy or one that doesn't like what's one, as much goal, as what's, we do. what's one of the animals that causes trouble? Uh, uh, yeah, I think of you as like a gopher or an <laughs> otter, or like, <laughs> like you know, like wait, groundhog. You know, yeah, I, can I, that. I can see that. I can yeah, see like that's what I was feeling. Like one of those, like, like raccoon. I, you know, because like, if I see my shadow, I will run. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's for sure. You see me disappear. So you're Peter Pan. It might be your spirit animal, Could be, or yes. maybe one of the lost boys. I like that. I might be one of the lost ones. Yeah. I don't know where I'm at most of the time. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I know. 
I just I, I just know I had to be here today. So. And you made it, and <laughs> yeah. you're on time. On time. So talk about the band. Like, what's how many people are in it? It's a five piece band. Um, Charles Cud asked me to be in it. He started out with a singer called Alexis, and he also had a, um, multiple instruments, <clears throat> if I can say that properly, named Carlos. And um, I guess they lost their drummer or whatever. They just disappeared. Yeah, on, it you know. happens. And um, I picked up from where from where they left off. And fortunately, um, we were able to make new music. And uh, oh, also we have Raz Drastic. I don't know if anyone knows him. He's from the Ex Possibles. Nice. Oh, okay. So um, what's really cool about it? Most of us can play multiple instruments. So you can switch you. Yes, but I usually stick to drums. That's okay, because right. they can't do that. No, they all, well, not all of them, but Charles and Carlos can play drums as well. Okay. Yeah. So, do you have any shows coming up? Um, not until maybe another two months, so we're recording right now in Queens cool. at uh, Block 6 Studios. Oh, so right. That's where, yeah, where we used to go. Yeah, that's our first time, yeah. Yeah, so we've been recording there, um, recording it ourselves at that. This is the second recording, actually, because we did a recording last year. We recorded 12 songs. I think we did it in three days. With the same band? Yes. Oh, so you've been with them for a while. Yeah, now we're doing new songs. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So, um, I don't know, this one we're taking a little bit more time with the recording. And to just to improve it, you know, because you really can't get that much quality in three days. It really takes more time. Yeah. Unless you're just super professional. Do they have a website? <laughs> yes. It's uh, www.inthenextlife.com. Cool. Well, today happens to be National Brownie Day. Oh, okay, I'll um, eat one. I'm not fond of sweets, but I, I'll eat it. Just eat it. Yeah. There you go. I don't get arrested. Well, I wish you could on these brownies, but I'm they, not. But they're light, too. They're very good. So um, we need to get a skeleton from your closet. Okay. Um, I hope it's not one I said already. Well, no one will remember, because we don't retain much on room. Oh, I got one. We just live in the moment. I got one. We're in this life. But this is good. I think I'm going to start to learn about internet that it exists. Oh, so um, when I was, I was going to say when I was little, I'm still little. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> when I was younger, I had a very funny ap uh, appetite. I was very finicky at what I like to eat, and it was right. only consisted of two things. That's why you got such a nice figure. I don't know how that's possible, because the two things was chicken, fried chicken, and hamburgers. And that's it? That's all I wanted protein. to eat. You that's eat protein. protein, that's why. Protein is, <laughs> you know, you burn calories digesting that. So if I didn't get that. that and that's was, all you ate? No, my mother would force me to eat other things, like rice and other things. Just now, when you would eat burgers, did you eat a bun? No. Right, that's what I just mean. That's just why, just that's why. But never like bread. Um, See? And you never like sweets. No. No, I did like sweets. I used to have just a have Yeah, but he doesn't usually. Problem. Oh, you did? I had, yeah. Because, because I always thought you always say no to sweets. Yeah, recently, like in the past 10 years. Yeah, like, recently in the past 10 years. Well, 10 years is not that it doesn't seem like it only when you say 2006 was 10 years ago. Like right. You're like, wait a minute, oh, that doesn't God. sound right. Yeah. It sounds like five minutes ago, <laughs> but it's not. But like, as long as I know you, you always are like, no, I don't eat sweets. No, no, not really. Yeah, because never. They, what, what was your favorite? Oh, wow. I forget it. Um, it could be Noun Laters, uh, Jolly Ranchers, Peanut Chews, Reese's. Reese's oh, so you like cup. chocolate and... The other Rugged, stuff, yeah, too. Candy too. Any yeah. kind of candy. Any kind. Uh, I just didn't like butterscotch. Like that. Oh, you don't? <laughs> not not, not <laughs> that, that church candy. I like no that, too. No, it's church, but I'm not into church candy. Oh, they get that at that's church? What, that's what all the ladies had in their bag. And they so you, you, want butter, like, God. you kept thinking you were going to get a surprise. Like, you want a piece of candy, baby? You're like, sure. And they give you this yellow thing. Grandma candy. And it's stuck to the candy. The wrapper? Yeah. And what you just you just go for it. You put it in your mouth and hope the wrap. you don't eat the wrapping around Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. But it's true. I can vouch. He does not eat sweets. I even gave him a right? birthday cake. Yeah, but he did eat a brownie. Yes, it was, small. Yeah, it was small. It was small. So, do you have notes here? Is there something you wanted to um, remember to say? No, I, I think I was just trying to make sure I didn't forget anything. Did you? No, not really, because I, some of the stuff like is totally band affiliated, and I'm hoping maybe we can come back as a band. I would love that. Maybe we can talk about so maybe that, that we can way. do that in the near yes. future. Yes. That sounds good. Hopefully. So, yes, so the that. website one more time. It's www.inthenextlife.com. Yeah, can I push a button here? Sure. I'm going, there's no number. Oh, that's the money button today, man. Yeah. Let's go for that. Ooh, yeah. Pay your rent too. Oh, that would be nice. All right. Sure, why not? I mean, I'd like to pay my own. 
But, you know, we got to work for this money. Yes. We want to work. So yeah. anybody looking to hire some very motivated people. Yes, yes, definitely. We'll do it. All right. Thank you for having me, Ruth. Thank you, Q. Thanks, Jurgen. Jurgen's party is February 20th, right here at Auto Shrunken Head. You coming? I'll be there, of course. Yeah. The yeah. All right. We'll see you then. Internet show.